gang stuff. There was never no Mets gang. They created a Mets gang to create the organized crime. So let's get that understood. There was never no Mets gang. He just took people and pieced them together because they was affiliated with each other and said, well, hey, this your enforcers, this your brains, y'all two other kingpin, queenpin, whatever you want to call it. And so we hit you with the Rico statue. Oh, we can't have the Rico. We're going to get the Rico. We're going to hit them with organized crime. We're going to hit them with this. We're going to hit them with that. Yeah, because you couldn't get them individually. You couldn't touch. You couldn't let. You couldn't take him to trial. You couldn't take the other trial. You couldn't take this one to trial. You couldn't take that one to trial. You had to take them as a group. As a group. That's why they called it a game. But it was never a game. But that was the way they got the conviction. Some of the other names that that was in there within the circle that they wanted to give them. I mean, they might, of course. You know what I'm saying? Nap, Meatball, Danielle, June, which is my uncle Shane. It's a, it's like I said, Mark Scalp, or Troy. It's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of them just pieces together because they were all affiliated with each other. Like I said, majority of them home now, thank God. But at the same time, my pop's still fighting for his freedom. 25 years is, is, is a federal life sentence. He's done 28, so he's done. He's completed a life sentence already. So you mean to tell me he's working on a second life sentence, you know what I'm saying? But I'm in low security. So my actions don't that don't add up to who I am as a person. Because if if, if I'm that if that, I'm I'm this bad, bad person, guess what? I'm on a I'm on a medium or low or, or max security level. I'm not on a low, the next thing from low is a secure is it's actually a camp and then halfway house. And we talk about the uh, the odds of uh, coming home? I mean, eyes are, eyes are good right now if I'm coming home. I don't to be honest with you. Uh, a lot of people don't want, a lot of people for him coming home and people gonna be against him coming home. Everything goes well and comes home, what happens? I mean, everything goes well and come home, like I said, put me in the house, drop all my grandkids off, and, and I'm gonna enjoy this right now. And then I'll work on my book, documentaries, all that kind of stuff where I gotta generate my income, my funds, but I gotta do, and that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, that's his that's his request. When I go visit him, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to leave him because that's like my partner. That's like my best. That's like if everybody anybody got a home that they love, that's that's what he is and more because it's my father. So you know what I'm saying? So to leave him in there, and I know he don't really deserve to be in there like that. This long stint. Now, don't get me wrong. He he deserves to do some time. I ain't about to say and say he don't. But life, nah. Y'all give me life, saying y'all give me triple life in 72 years, and I'm a non-violent offender. I ain't never had a speeding ticket before in my life. Y'all don't even know what I look like. But y'all give me triple life in 72 years. Come on, man. That's overkill. Now you fighting for that freedom to get the life sentences knocked off and et cetera, et cetera. You got health conditions, all that kind of stuff that's going on. This COVID going around, he should be home. You know what I mean? But they don't care about no, they don't care about no life, man. Man, 60-something years old, he's not going to, he's definitely not coming out here and do nothing. You know what I'm saying, that jeopardizes freedom again. All he want to do, this is what he say. Man, put me in one house and bring all my grandkids to the house with me. He have any worries inside? Any, no. Worries in there? Any worries at all? No. Nah. So how, 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 do they look, how do they look at him? How, how, is he man, he, nah, he's, he's, I mean, the respect is there. Gotcha. I mean, the level the level of respect is there. Like I said, he's on to everybody that's in jail. Okay. I don't care if it's white, black, Mexicans. Mexicans don't call nobody their own. But at the end of the day, People look at him in a manner, in a manner of because of his level, you know what I'm saying, because of his reputation that, you know, that you're the man. And they, they go under him, he take, you know what I'm saying, he grab these little cats and take them and like, hey, look, come in here, get, get your stuff together and get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I got life. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got an end date. Y'all got a release date. How big is he? Man, my brother's smaller than me. He about, one, about 130 pounds. It's funny because cats are coming there and be like, man, Glenn here. You know what I'm saying? He over there, you know? And the cats don't really know who he is, they don't know his face. Right. Run up to the big old dude. Hey, what's up, Glenn, man? Nigga, they're like, man, 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 they're like, that's how he. That's how he you. That's how he look. That's how he move. That's how he act. You know what I'm saying? Not act, but he's mature. But until he get close to you, of course you'll see the wrinkles. He's aging. But other than that, you see him from a distance. You gonna think he's a teenager. What, what he on you at one point? Just thinking that. What a phase on you at one point? Thinking that you were involved in that type of thing. Nah, they didn't. They didn't. 
they didn't they didn't mess with me. And my brother was like this all day. But imagine if imagine if you you know yeah exactly. Yeah, I mean, but they yeah. but see the thing about them was they were satisfied. Okay. They got who they wanted. They took who they wanted off the street, and no matter yeah. what, mm. we they don't want they wouldn't have wanted us because we wouldn't have been big enough. So it's not we're not even about to mess with them if they was gonna do something. Now if you want to come up here and make noise like he made noise, you know what I'm saying? And we know y'all the men, y'all the men out here. Y'all two got all the work. Yeah, then we came. Yeah, they came. They just came shut us down too. They definitely came. Yeah. They be like, y'all like y'all father. Like, come on, I know better than to deal with that, man. They gonna lose me. Yeah. They gonna lose me. Even even the fact that I knew to. I man, you used to get cats all the time, man. Come on, bro. Come on. Bro. I know you. And I ain't doing nothing, bro. I you work. Can't say, well, try, try, try to front your work. No, try to get from me. Get stuff from me. I'm like, man, I, oh, okay. I got a job, bro. I don't do that, man. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Put on your mouth, man. I ain't got. I, I can't do nothing for you. And they just thinking, you know what I'm saying? Just, just not want to deal with them. Or dip. But I'm like, bro, I work every day. Homie. I can't. Because I know one thing about it. This is the thing. You go to jail. You get stopped. Say, hey, we make a transaction right now. You get stopped. You say, man, who you connect with? And, and once you say my name, I, ain't, I don't stand a chance. And you ain't had to get it from me. All you get, get it from me. I'm gone. I mean, he grew up, you know what I'm saying? He grew up, his parents was good. I mean, you know what I mean? His, his mom did the best she can do to raise her. Cause he was the oldest, so raise him and his, you know, the siblings underneath him. Um, I mean, like I said, he, he, but he, he'll tell you in a minute, you know? He didn't have no, no father figure to, to be a father. But like for me and, my, me and my brother, he did a great job. And he did it on the fly. He'll tell you all his mouth, I ain't know what to do. What schools he went to? He went to Booker T. He went to Savannah. Any college? No college. But like I say, he like he, he'll tell you a minute. I ain't I ain't have no figure in front of me. I had no father figure. So I did the best I could do with my kid. And he ain't he ain't played no he ain't played no games with us. Like we had strict rules. So if you was a you was a person that 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 didn't care about nothing morally, you, that wasn't him. Any college you saw you? I had I went to Joint College. Yeah, I went to Joint College and I stopped at that one. Every, every kind of was difficult. That's another thing. When you when you got your when you got your number one fan, you take your number one fan away from you. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? I graduated '92. They picked them up in '92. You take your number one fan away. It's like I should have kept pushing because they took them away. But I looked at it. I'm sitting around trying to see what the trial gonna do instead of me going off to college. I can't function in college if I'm wondering about what's going on with him. You know what I'm saying? And that kind of did in my my journey with basketball. You know what I mean? With them taking him out, taking him out of my life, it kind of did me. It should have pushed me, but it didn't because I'm trying to see what the trial gonna do. And then once they convicted them, and they took him off the street, you know, my my time was spending going visit them every week. You know what I'm saying? Let them know we here. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, work on the pills, whatever we gotta do to try to get all that stuff done. Mm -hmm. That people weren't here. None of that though. That people weren't saying. That people weren't trying to give no play. They weren't trying to do nothing. So you know, it's 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 disheartening, but it was what it was. You know what I'm saying? Like. It, it changed my life. Don't get me wrong, it changed my life tremendously. You know what I'm saying, taking them away. But they expected us to fail because he, he was so powerful and so at that at that level that he expected his offspring to fail. Like me and my brother, like 17 and 16. So where else we go? If he hadn't instilled in us those 17, 16 years, what he instilled in us, we'd have been gone. Free my, free my pop, free Glenn Metz. It's overkill. It's overkill. He deserved to be home. Triple life sentence for drugs that that y'all put out here in the community. That heat that you didn't catch on him. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And never the and, and, and a non-violent offender with triple life for 72 years. It's nuts. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's insane. You know, but uh, we got some hope right now. We we got some hope right now with him coming home. So um, shout out to my partners who you know my partners. They know who they are. You know what I'm saying? They still fight for their freedom too. Free Gerald Earlwood. Free me, bro. Free, I mean, you know, all of them who's on the case, like, no matter, it wasn't a game. It wasn't a game to begin with. But the ones who got incarcerated and, and lost time with their family, lost time time with their, from their mothers, their fathers, their kids, when they left on that case, like, free all left, who's still in there. Like, free them. Free Glenn Metz, and, um, 
Like I said, man, it got more to come. Like, you know what I'm saying? The opportunity that Wayne is giving me the platform I got, man, I'm gonna try to educate the people as much as I could. Speak, be the voice for my dad till he hit the street. Then he gonna talk for himself. There's so many documentaries that's on YouTube and et cetera. You know what I'm saying? Talking about my pops and different things that they speculate that they did. Mm -hmm. But really, technically, nobody can't say nothing about nothing because nobody was there. So if we ain't there, we really can't talk about it. But the information I give y'all is coming from him. So I'm his voice. And I'm his voice till he hit the street. This is a gift you want to say is a gift. But the curse is I lost my father. So until I get him back, I ain't stopped. So I don't care who like it, who don't like what I'm posting, what I'm saying, what we interviewing, I'ma do it. If you don't like it, fight for him to tell him to let him out. And then I ain't gotta talk no more. My mouth shut and he gonna talk for y'all. Period. If you don't hear from me, my brother, nobody else talking about our family, let him out.